mosses and ferns are frequently seen growing together, particularly in moist, cool places. Many people mistakenly think they are closely related, while they are, in fact, quite different types of land plants. Both mosses and ferns were among the first plants to evolve on land. Some similarities, as well as some major differences, exist in the way these two groups have adapted to the terrestrial environment. The first plants were undoubtedly algae living in water. The best evidence indicates that the green algae were the progenitors of the land plants, probably one similar to this present-day Fritchella. Plants in water are surrounded by a medium that supplies many of their basic requirements. Water contains oxygen, carbon dioxide, and minerals necessary for survival and growth. Light penetrates the surface of the water, and the buoyant plants are able to carry on photosynthesis. But most importantly, the cells have a constant supply of water with no exposure to drying air. On land, the problems are considerably different. An alga simply thrown on the ground would quickly dry out. With no means of slowing desiccation and no way to absorb water from the soil, the cells would soon die. For plants to live on land, they must be protected from drying out.